Hi, my name is Daniel Brown and I'm Realtor and CEO of Myriad Real Estate Group. Today we're going to discuss masks and which mask should you wear. Face masks are on the rise here in the US for the fight against coronavirus. They have been shown to slow the spread of the disease and many states are now requiring that you wear them in public places. If you don't know what to wear, this video should help with that. The different types of masks. Of course, everybody knows the N95 mask. These should be reserved for healthcare workers who are being regularly exposed to patients because they are the most effective and can block particles at 95%. They are designed for single use, made of polyester and synthetic fibers that make it harder for particles to pass through. You should allow gaps between the edges of the mask and your face. Some also have exhalation valves on the front, which can make it easier to breathe. Medical masks only filter between 60 to 80% of small particles. If they're worn properly, they can prevent the spread of droplets when someone coughs or sneezes. They're made out of layers of paper like synthetic fabric that have pleats and a looser fit. They are also designed to be used just once. Homemade masks. Many people have turned to making homemade masks and depending on how it's made, it can be more effective than a simple medical mask. Some materials you can use include a heavy cotton t-shirt, flannel, or a tightly woven dish towel. Material that offers a higher thread count will be more likely to offer best protection. Make sure it has at least two layers of material, comes up over your nose and below your chin, and has secure straps. Some homemade masks even offer additional pockets to hold a filter. You can use a coffee filter or even paper towels as a filter that will block between 23-33% to 33 of particles. Remember a mask is only as effective if worn properly and fit snugly. This should be worn the entire time you are outside. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe. Also, please stay safe and healthy.